ever feel like your new tech purchase is outdated the second you step out of the store? Shit. How bad? Shit. Pornographic. It's out of power. Well, these devices certainly are. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 real high-tech devices that appeared in movies but look hilariously outdated today. Damn. For this list, we pick devices that exist in real life, that were featured on the big screen, and that may have at one time looked high-tech, but now seem very old-fashioned, archaic, or obsolete. We can call for help? We gotta reboot the system first. Number 10, the Palm Tungsten C Little Black Book. Electronic Little Black Book. If you were a business executive or venture capitalist at the beginning of the century, chances are you probably had one of these. As in? As in palms, blackberries, desk organizers, electronic footprints of where your man has been and with whom. I don't think Under that's... the right circumstances, they could prove to be a girl's best friend. Before the world was introduced to smartphones, the Palm Pilot, or one of its variants, was your right-hand man, allowing you to store a vast amount of contacts, organize your schedule, and granting you access to the internet. If I were Palm, where would I be? Sound familiar? Now, modern phones make personal digital assistants look like a toy you buy for your kids to make them feel special when you take them to bring your child to work day. Slow down, you're rocking the Palm. Number 9. Tiny Hard Drive Storage, Johnny Mnemonic. Your storage capacity is now 160 gigabytes. Warning, do not exceed capacity. Back when Johnny Mnemonic was released, the ability to store a whopping 160 gigabytes on one device was probably enough to blow your mind. How much am I carrying? 320 gigabytes. Nowadays, you can get that same amount of storage or more on a simple flash drive. It is extremely dangerous. If the upload volume exceeds your storage capacity, synaptic seepage can kill you in two or three days. In this sci-fi action thriller, the titular hero trades out his childhood memories to make room for this now minuscule amount of memory space. Implant, wet wired. I had to dump a chunk of long-term memory. If only he had waited a few years, he could have stored terabytes worth of info in his noggin instead. I want to get online. I need a computer! Number 8. Motorola Dynatac, Wall Street. This is your wake-up call, pal. Go to work. It's hard to look back on the Motorola Dynatac and consider it a cell phone. Just look at the size of this thing. It's a brick. The portable phone looks like a device that should be able to launch missile strikes or control a satellite. I've never seen a painting that captures the beauty of the ocean at a moment like this. How are we supposed to believe Gordon Gekko's a high-rolling Wall Street player when he makes calls on this? It's just plain silly today. At least they acknowledge it in the 2010 sequel, and we all shared a good laugh. And one mobile phone. And yes, most cell phone tech looks dated after some time, including the flip phone from Romy and Michelle's high school reunion. Look what else I got, this little lady. Oh my god, it's a flip phone. Uh-huh. How'd you get this? I bought it. Number 7. IMSI 8080 Microcomputer War Games. The president will probably follow the computer war plan. Now that's a fact. You know how when you buy a new couch or bed and then have the difficult task of figuring out how to get it through the door and into your apartment? These computers give us instant access to the state of the world. Troop movements, Soviet missile tests, shifting weather patterns. It all flows into this room and then into what we call the Whopper computer. Well, in the 80s, that's what it was like when you bought a new microcomputer. And this machine, used by Matthew Broderick in the 1983 Cold War sci-fi flick, is supposed to be the small version? You're really into computers, huh? Yeah. If there was a Starbucks back then and you ordered a tall hot chocolate, would that be the equivalent of a supersized soda at McDonald's? Well, that does sound pretty awesome, so we surely hope so. Photovision, I have you now. At least the IMSI 8080 helped him successfully hack into his school district's computer system, so it had that going for it. Those are your grades? Yeah. I don't think that I deserved an F. Do you? You can't do that! 
Already done. Number six, Walkman, Back to the Future. So Back to the Future only showcased Marty's Walkman, but we'll take this opportunity to also mention the later music player known as the Discman. Despite how ridiculous they appear today, these devices were a music lover's dream just a few decades ago. They allowed you to take your music on the go anywhere. Now that we all have some sort of MP3 player, the idea of carrying a large device while lugging around your collection of tapes or CDs seems crazy. But at least the Walkman was recently given some retro love in 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey, 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 that's mine. You son of a bitch. Hey, take those headphones off right now. Number five, pager, clueless. No calls tonight. But it's Dion. I'm sorry. It might, it might be important. We're gonna have a nice family dinner. Yet another victim of modern phones, texting certainly made the pager obsolete. It's not even 8.30 and Murray is paging me. He is so possessive. Just imagine trying to set up a girl's night out or plan your next poker game using this device. Woman, why don't you be answering any of my pages? Think about the amount of work it would take versus just sending a group text. As if. Now, on top of that, picture how cool you would look strapping these bad boys to your belt and displaying them for the whole world to see. Do you prefer fashion victim or ensemble challenge? Ah. Not exactly the most appealing fashion accessory anymore, now is it, Cher? I was just totally clueless. Number four, all computers, Jurassic Park. It's a Unix system, I know this. Unix systems, an interactive CD-ROM, it's hard to believe that this technology actually ran the entire park in this science fiction adventure film. It's all the files of the whole park, it tells you everything. These computers look more like dinosaurs than the actual dinosaurs in this movie. With the new Jurassic Park, perhaps the studio should consider showing off a separate exhibit in which tourists can view the first flick's old security systems and see how easy it was for the dinosaurs to escape in the first place. Hold on to your butts. Number three, AOL, you've got mail. Welcome. For those too young to remember, there was a time when email was this bright, shiny new thing. You've got mail. And when you got the friendly reminder telling you that you've got mail, it always brought a smile to your face. You've got mail. Yes. Those are very powerful words. Back in the day, AOL was an online bigwig and the cool thing to use. Not only could you send and receive electronic mail, you could also chat with your friends online via instant messenger. I need help. Do you still want to meet me? And let's not forget the good old sound of dial-up. Of course, none of this seems so special any longer, thanks to the various ways of communication we have today. Most notably, Gmail, Facebook, and much, much more. Goodbye. Number two, developing film, one hour photo. Just for a minute, I'm just dropping off some film. Make sure you can see me, okay? Okay. The use of the medium of film versus digital images is still a highly debated topic today, though many directors still opt to shoot on film. However, in the commercial market, using photographic film to capture stills is widely unheard of. Can I help you, sir? Just dropping off some film. Just a customer. When was the last time you bought a disposable camera and had it developed at a one-hour Photoshop? Chances are it's been a while. What? Free disposable cameras to customers on their birthday? That must have been your bright idea. Sure as shit isn't company policy. You can't do this. We're living in a digital age, and with technology getting better and better, film is becoming more and more a thing of the past. Find another place to do your film. I do not want you back in here. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Hello? Oh, I, I don't know. I'll have to look. Mr. Ryan, are you in here? I mean, it's supposed to be like magic, isn't it? Hello. You have four messages. Message one. Hey, gorgeous. It's uh, Trent calling. Look, you gotta get that girl out of your head. Uh, I hope my... Number one. VHS, The Ring. 
Have you heard about this videotape that kills you when you watch it? In the ring, the dated quality of the VHS footage definitely added to the creepy factor. But it also makes one wonder that if the movie were set today, would anyone even have a VCR to play the cassette on? Perception's never good here. That's why we bought tape players for videos. Our guess is that poor Samra would be waiting a long time for some poor sap to come by and convert her tape into a DVD. Though fans still have plenty of nostalgic love for this strange format, videotape is likely to be completely off the market sooner rather than later, if it isn't already. It's going to keep going, isn't it? Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite outdated high-tech device from a movie? For more hilarious top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I guess it was.